Hey, I'm Dustin the Grinch, and this is Game Tato. And today I want to discuss why the Super Nintendo has a special place in my heart, and I just find it to be the greatest console of all time, and nothing's really beaten it yet. I don't know if I have a sepia tinted glass or just I'm looking at life through a funnel, because that was the console that I played on as a kid, but I just find it amazing. And here's my Christmas story, because everybody talked about, oh, we're going to get Super Nintendos for Christmas, you know, in elementary school, and we all really wanted one. It was like the big deal. If you got one, you could play Earthworm Jim and Donkey Kong Country. And I tried to get one so bad. Like, my parents really went out of their way. Like, this is one of the things that I really thank my parents for. They really got that Super Nintendo. We went, went, we went to Toys R Us. We went to Sears. And then finally, like, we kept just searching store after store. We went to, like, our third best buy, and we finally got the Donkey Kong Country Super Nintendo bundle. And I went home, and I played it on my old TV on an RF modulator. It was, like, so crappy back then. I had to get some, like, adapter to make it crappy RF. But I played Donkey Kong Country, and the music was so amazing in that game and the gameplay. Donkey Kong Country 2, Super Double Dragon, and I think you guys know all the games. Super Metroid, there's a big stack of my games. Joe and Mac, Joe and Mac 2, I still haven't found another one, but those were the games that just captivated me. The X-Men games, man, like Super Mario Kart was incredible. And I just got these five consoles to really commemorate the Super Nintendo in the way that I never got to do as a kid because I was always too broke. So I got a Super Nintendo Mini behind me and it's just stock, but I use it for my composite and my old school arcade setup. If you watch my room tour, you can see that's what I put in my arcade machine with the composite switcher and my OG. I play it OG when I want in the arcade machine and even got the microprocessor switcher, which I got to show you guys in another video because I convert my PS2 signal to a GameCube, to an Xbox, right? And then I convert the GameCube to the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo. So if I want to play arcade games on the top of that, I can play any game in my setup through the microprocessor setup with the arcade sticks for PS2. How dope is that? And that's how I play my Super Nintendo and really still play it today because it's so cool playing it on the arcade. That's the OG. But now we got the Super Nintendo Classic and the Famicom Classic that I got in the background. And those are like a nostalgia trip because they're easy, they're small, you plug them in, you can take them anywhere. They got 30 games, they come with two controllers, and they're just the, the best of both worlds. You know, it's, it's emulation and there's artifacting and it's not perfect, but it's portable, it's got most of the best games. And it's very easy for most people. And like, if you're not a collector like me, you don't got the cartridges, that's the best option for you. And if you want more games, you can hack Chi those. And it's just really good. <laughs> oh yeah. And talking about real good is the Super, what the hell is it called? The Super Boy. The Super Boy S is a really good console, but it's got a couple problems. And one of them is that it doesn't have an HDMI output. You're getting composite through this weird ass 3.5 millimeter jack. And then you're plugging it in. I'm gonna have some test videos and I've never done test videos before. So this is gonna be pretty wild to see the video comparisons between all five of these devices. And the Simple Boy, it's got a great battery life. The screen is kind of weird on the S because it's widescreen, but it accepts the cartridges. It accepts them, but you gotta like wiggle them. And it's kind of odd, like you can't force in a game. You gotta like wiggle it, feel if it's right. Once you feel it locking, you gotta jam it in with the Superboy S. And it runs all the games portably. Like there's no better way to play a Super Nintendo portably. So if you're into playing Super Nintendo that much, a Superboy S is great for anybody that wants to play that shit on the go. But if you're like a more advanced gamer now and you want the best picture on your HD, you gotta go with the Super NT. You can put in your cartridges and it's going to play any game with 100% backwards compatibility, 1080p, Cyclone 5, FPGA. It's going to emulate all of the hardware, but actually on a, a field gate array 
and actually recreate all these analog components digitally and give you a non emulated digital representation in 1080p of what your old games look like better than your sepia tinted rose colored glasses from your old CRT days could ever represent and this analog is representing this new generation of re re I don't know rebirthing consoles from the grave like a phoenix and it's really tremendous to see analog and that's why I purchased it because I didn't want these consoles to get sold out and then me not have one and I don't want to create like that epidemic but if you really want like an analog NT like you need to buy one and support them so they make more of these and they don't go extinct and stop being processed and this is the future and it's just I love the Super Nintendo like most I bled blisters back in the day from the wrestling games mashing buttons to win clinches like Oh man, I played Donkey Kong Country 3 and then that led me into the N64 and my nostalgia never ended for Nintendo. Like, the Super Nintendo was the point, like, I love the Nintendo, but it wasn't quite there. Like, those games were addicting, but the Super Nintendo is when games truly just became a part of my life and I truly loved it. Like, I was immersed in these games and the music and the art direction of these games with what they had truly inspired me to just collect and love games through the rest of my life and design two video games that are just now in production I mean I'll stop like I don't want to get emotional but the Super Nintendo is the antithesis of a lot of the love for my games and just like and subscribe peace and I hope you guys like what I have to show with this video after peace